uh, Molly, as you get closer, you, the shape takes more form. As the mist kind of fades and your proximity grows closer, you see what looks to be a, a, a squat figure, uh, wide and muscular, uh, armored with a sack over the shoulder. Ashley, if you want to enter. Oh, what? Yay! That was fast. This is your life. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Ashley Birch joins us at the table. <laughs> so, Ashley, if you'd like to describe what Molly sees as he approaches. What Molly sees is uh, a dwarven woman with a five o'clock shadow. What? A cigarette uh, hanging out of her mouth. Um, extremely battered, bloodied, rusted, Armor, full armor, and short, kind of greasy hair, and she has uh, a big old axe and a when one hand and a big old hammer in the other. Ooh. And she does she see these folk now? Uh, you you uh, roll a perception check for me. <laughs> I don't have dice. Oh, we should oh, get that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How, this is terrible. Here, your oh, bladder me. was right here. Right here. Yeah, but do you want to pick a dice? Pick this, a dice bag. Oh, we got oh, yeah. Yeah. So many. Okay. And here, have perception. A, I'm a thing. Oh, hey, thanks, guys. I'm part of the crew. Okay, so I'm rolling perception. Yes, just roll a d20, add your perception modifier. That is a so much better than mine. Yeah, wow, that happened. <laughs> so, 18. So you see uh, one uh, figure coming towards you, kind of difficult to make out gender, of kind of lavender skin, curled horns filled with jewelry, big long coat of multi colors, maroon, but then it goes into a, a, a rainbow pattern almost, with two glowing scimitars to each side kind of staring you down. Uh, behind that, you see two figures a little bit beyond uh, your sight to make out all the details, but one seems to be tall, humanoid, the other seems to be much shorter and smaller, probably, you know, halfling gnome. Uh, and then off in the bushes, not hiding very well, you see another figure just kind of keeping low <laughs> to your left. Ah, son of a dick. All right, let's get this over with. And then she holds up her battle axe and her oh, uh, warhammer. As she, as I make eye contact, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Was it, <laughs> was it the blue? Was I too, too tall? I, I mean, you guys have your weapons drawn. I'm assuming. Are we gonna do this or what? I would just I like a little bit of a little bit of feedback so I know how to perfect it later. Are you asking about your hiding? Yeah. It's shit, man. You gotta choose a new. This Fuck. is yeah. All right. I saw you. You were, you were. I thought you weren't trying to hide. I thought you, you were great just... eyesight. Not really. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Through the What's wire. your name? Through the wire, I whisper. What's your fucking name? You guys got weapons out? What's going on? What's your fucking name? What's your fucking name? She. Pe I put the yeah. wire away. <laughs> What's going on up there? We don't know. Should I kill something? Are you Probably. guys trying to kill? I've got. I got a place to be, so if we can move this along, are we fighting or not? Molly, ask her where we're at an impasse. I haven't really thought this through. Where did you come from? What are you doing in the bloody bushes by our campsite? I just was, I'm, I'm was walking up the road, man. I didn't expect to see a bunch of poorly hidden weirdos with fucking weapons drawn. Just make conversation. I. How's your day? <laughs> <laughs> Weird now. Sorry. <laughs> Happens sometimes. Uh, so you guys aren't. Wait, where are you guys from? Are you from the run? The, the, what's, what's the what's the run? No, really, okay. what's the run? That sounds kind of fascinating. So you're not from I the run. I think she means no. Shady Creek Run. Yeah, that. Oh, oh. shit. We should have thought about that. I'm I didn't know. I don't I don't know your street lingo. Your it's least just a sweet version of Yeah, let's your the right the, God, I don't I'm putting down one of the swords. We're having a very run. weird day. Just one. Just one. <laughs> Still one glowing sword, but I'm having. Yeah, I'll put I'm, away the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> the de-escalation has begun. <laughs> we more or less got robbed last night, and you're the first living human being that we've seen, or not human being. Ah, oh, dwarf. Dwarf. And by robbed, he means half of our party got abducted. That's a very robbed. That's such a light way of putting it. Ho, 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 ho! Your party got abducted when? Last night. Last night. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay. We were actually heading to the run. It does sound pretty cool. All right. I'm going to walk up. Is there anything to harvest from those bugs? 
Uh, Volt, do you want to go ahead and take a shot of trying? Did the light just change it? Uh, I have a dagger. I, I do have a dagger. <laughs> and, and I should have the globules of light to float around the corpse. Okay. And I put my goggles on, safety first. It's <laughs> very bright. Super bright. Super bright right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up the hood and I kind of buckle myself up and uh, take my take my scarf from around my waist and tie it around me for like a face mask. You can do this, and I walk 20 feet back. Okay. <laughs> I will say, because of your understanding of the of its body from, from extracting the aspects of it, do you want to choose, do you wish to utilize nature or medicine for this role? Give me the choice. Medicine, medicine, All right, so. it's higher. Oh Let's go ahead and make a check. <laughs> Just a straight check. Just a straight check. Skill check with medicine bonus, whatever that may be. Natural 20. Whoa. Oh, finally. Yeah, yeah. You've seen, I'm back! <laughs> you've seen Bo be pretty precise in combat and pinpointing the weak elements of an opponent's body. This is almost poetry, the surgical precision in which Beauregard takes the dagger and Cuts, pulls, rips, pulls and lifts, tucks, finds, cuts, 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 removes, and within a matter of about a minute, minute and a half, there is a, a sack about the size of a, of a, of a basketball um, that the ends have been tied off and it kind of just feels like a water balloon. Ooh. Keg is aroused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got the sack. No. Can I kind of climb a tree a little bit and do I see anything on the horizon? And where we're going, like another tree clearing that looks like it might be up ahead. Go to make an athletics check. Athletics? Yes. Mm, 24. Jesus. Rolled an 18. Like, like a monkey that was raised in the jungle, <laughs> you watch Beauregard just leap from branch to bow, just effortless, effortlessly just diving through this forest. Keg is aroused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you cast on me, Caleb, it's just like, I feel so good. It's gone. That's gone. But it's lingering effects, you know. I'm in the afterglow. <laughs> so you pick up your things. Horses at the ready. Do you continue your journey? Anything you want to do before you head off? Do my morning push-up and pull-up routine. Squats. Squats. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm ready to go. Okay. You have to set two horses side by side and use your staff there to do any pull ups. Oh, not any trees here, but you managed to pull it together. As fuck. Yes, I do. <laughs> get on the road. Hell. All the shape guys have just figured out how we can save like On the road minutes. while you're, yeah, you're just like Chuck Norris cool. it between the two horses. <laughs> it goes without saying, but Keg is aroused. Guys, <laughs> you should do that. Yeah. We do need to decide something. Bo walks over to Keg and grabs Keg by the coif and s tries to slam Keg into the ground. Do you resist? Did you think that maybe telling us that Lorenzo was a high fucking Magic user would have been. Know. Or are you still fucking working with them? I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. By regard, she would have told us. She wouldn't have been able to hide it. Where's this. Where's this fucking stupid tapestry? Where is it? They're going to Shady Creek. They're probably going to take them to the Sour Nest. That's where they. <clears throat> I go and I, I, I look. Is this tapestry still on, on her horse? Yeah, the, the tapestry of Bahamut is still rolled up and kind of strapped over the back of one of the horses. I storm over to it and I rip it off the horse and I say, This is, this is ours now. <clears throat> he was our fucking friend. He wasn't your fucking friend. We're taking this back. Thank you. For what? 
think we all would have been dead back there had you not made your offer, which you didn't have to do. It's wow. noted. <clears throat> A bit too little too late, but uh, sure, yeah. What was your friend's name? Yuto. No more running for Molly and Yuto. Deal. Deal. If you run, we'll kill you. That's fair. Cool. Uh, bad time to ask for a drink? Never a bad time. You deserve it. I was gonna say it to you, I, just give it to you, so I, I panicked and I, I'm sorry. Bo comes out of the stairs hearing the end of it and just goes, Thanks, Bo. Speaking of I could learn time. a few things from you. That was a good apology. <laughs> Damn good. <laughs> uh, apology accepted. That's amazing. Eight. Okay, so so what happens is you go, not you, you pull back, this. pull back the fire, and it as it as it gets ready to go ahead and extend, it looks like another bolt sh slips up into it accidentally, and it, it fires two in a row. Bo catches one and goes like, "Ugh, ow!" And there's a second one that's like jammed right into like the space between two ribs. What the hell, not? First of all, that was cool, uh, and this was cool. And third of all, that was a killing blow. Okay, now do your thing. You couldn't fucking kill me! She always liked this. This seems kind of extreme. This is this kind is of the most extreme I've ever seen. Uh, do your thing! Do your thing! I'm keeping this bolt. This is mine now. Okay. Uh, you're you're, you're and bleeding I on your. the other one out. Oh! Yeah! I put that I'm keeping this one too! Keg is aroused again. Huey! <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here. Can I step back uh, a few feet? I don't want to go that full movement. Maybe kind of like on top of the table. Can I get sure, on top of the table? Sure, you want to be on there instead? Yeah. That's cool. And uh, I want to kind of gauge it right over Keg's shoulders and go foof, foof, and throw two darts. Okay, you're going to attempt to ricochet off of her armor. <laughs> go for it. Over top over top of her shoulders yeah. to the giant barbarian behind her? Yeah. Hopefully. Go for it. Or Let ricochet. It <laughs> Whatever's the coolest. I'm just embellishing for fun, why not? Yeah. We'll see if it okay, works. First one. 17? 17 hits. Okay. Actually, you have an advantage technically because she was doing reckless attacks <laughs> last turn. 13 is on right. the uh, higher one on that's uh, 20. That hits, first one hits. And what do these do? These do a d8 damage? These do monk, or do these? Uh, these are the. These are the. No, these still do 1d4. These are still right? darts. These modified darts. You would need to get daggers or things that are considered right. monk weapons. So it's 1d4. So the first one, scrap, that's five damage. Five damage, all right. Second one with the advantage still. One. Mm-hmm, 21. 21 hits, full damage. Ooh, that's better, eight damage. All right, five <laughs> and eight. As you're there, kind of like getting your brain back in the space and your body kind of, the strength returns to you, you look up at the time that the barbarian's like pulling back for another round of blows, the giant blade still kind of the edge of it crimson with your own blood, and you watch as these two kind of serrated blade-like discs like shh, shh, shh into her chest, ah! <sighs> from over your shoulders, and you kind of glance over quickly and see Bo kind of waving to you through the doorway. I mean, I don't need to say it. But Keg is aroused. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, that finishes Bo's turn. Caleb, you're up. Boner. <laughs> I just give a give a wink. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I, I see how badly this is going. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I have a joke. I'm going to keep it in my head. Um, now it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to wait for Keg so we can hoist lift. It. Okay. Hoist. All right, holding that. Keg, it's your go. With advantage. 20. Not sure. Hey! Go. 20. 20. <laughs> so, Bo, as you squat down to get your hands in the position to grab, you're like, all right, time to go. And as you go to reach for it, it's already <laughs> lifted up. You Man, went. it was really light, actually. I don't. <laughs> you see, Keg, they're just holding it up, both arms overhead. Oh, yeah. What's up? 
Without <laughs> everything or else. flexes. <laughs> With that, Caleb scoots the table back into space to keep it held somewhat aloft. Yeah, this table's pretty heavy, too. <laughs> Fifteen. Yeah. Ah, begins to bend. You can see now where they've left it to lock behind it latches when it's dropped. And where the latch has stuck in it, it's been locked underneath, it's starting to pull apart. The metal is spinning. It's not strong enough to break it. It'll take another round to do so, but it's starting to give. I'm going to rush forward and help. All right. Do the same thing. And am I aware of that trap, uh, what, what sets it off since uh, I got the natural 20? Yes, proximity. It? Proximity alone. Um. <laughs> so, go ahead and make a strength check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm still trying uh, to help. Uh, um, yes. 21. 21. Yes. Bo, as you're pulling, your, your muscles getting sore, the, the veins bulging in your arms and your neck as you're yanking as hard as you can. Oh, Keg, do I look buff? You hear, oh, yeah, you're, yeah, you look great. Thank you. Keg joins in with you and both together. Ping, do I look the buff? The latches break <laughs> off and it, sli it slides open, hitting the back wall, leaving the stairs below open, this kind of warm air billowing up from beneath. Um, okay, I'm going to uh, unleash on Prada. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm, do yeah. it. No. Okay, first one. Fuck him up. Ah, Gil gave me a natural one. No. Fuck you, You Gil. swing towards Prado. Prado. Prado just ducks out of the way, and your fist instead hits the edge of Keg's armor. Your hand kind of goes back uh, like that. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, ah, why'd you put spikes on it? I look cool. Fuck. <laughs> ah. Okay, next one. All righty, that ends your turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm rushing and I'm jumping on top of the table. This table, man. <laughs> it's the centerpiece of our attack plan. Oh my God. And is that enough? Keg, this is just like Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Keg is. Just me and you floating in love? on this. <laughs> it's gone past just arousal. Just, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, we uh, still haven't found your partner. He's not here yet, right? Uh. It was a kind of a pie in the sky thing. I'm sure he's uh, he's long gone. Well, let's open the other cage. You never yeah. can tell. All right. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll go ahead. Oh, I'll assist. Seventeen plus. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> It opens up, and in the inside of the chamber, there is just Yasha. It's all right. I'm sorry. Uh, let's get your friends out of here, huh? Well, they're your friends What are now. you going to do? Sorry? You going to keep looking? I don't know what I'm going to do. I kind of only been thinking about... Um, Killing that son of a bitch now. I don't really know what my life is going to be like. Uh, I'll probably um, <clears throat> go on a nice uh, drunken bender for a while, and then when I come to, I'll, uh, I'll figure something out. Do either of you want to come with? At least for a drunken bender tonight. You want to stay with me? You can sneak out in the morning if you want. It won't be weird. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, totally. Uh, <laughs> cool, 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 cool. <laughs> what was it Shikasa just said? Get yourself something nice? <laughs> Uh, you know what is happening. Keg is awesome. <laughs> In gathering up the rest of those who are captured by the Iron Shepherds, Shikaste shepherds them off to their proper locations, free and far from the confines outside of the Dundalian Empire. The rest of you, with your friends in tow, make your way back towards Shady Creek Run. 
into what the rest of the morning light, which now begins to slowly curl over the distant mountains. A long evening, exhausted and tired. You look forward to enjoying comfort, alcohol, and whatever else transpires. <laughs> sex, it's sex, it's lots yeah. of sex. <laughs> All right. Well, then, we're going to go ahead and finish tonight's episode. (laughs) With that kind of awkward silence, you see Keg, who's kind of just staring straight out, kind of the the guilt on the face of the mention of Molly once more, kind of, uh, I'm going to have to, I'm just going to leave you guys to rest. I'm going to take some me time and backs out of the dome one quick glance at Bo as she exits. <laughs> Can I? I poke my head out and I go, you owe me a night! Uh, <laughs> I can. <laughs> she's there, she's like. What was that? I pop back and I'll go, I'll be back in like an hour and 20 minutes. Why don't you make it two hours? If it's two hours, don't come looking for me. If it's two and a half, then get worried. You're explaining too much. All right. Follow okay. Okay. Can I look in my, the haversack, and is my sketchbook oh, still in there? Your sketchbook is. I want to get out my sketchbook, and um, I'm going to leave the little bubble for a little bit and just kind of wander out, and I see Bo and Keg and I wander a little further away. <laughs> and I sit down with my sketchbook. You don't see, you just see blankets yeah, 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 It's sure, like when the sure. Sims. You just see a windmill. It's, a cartoon. <laughs> yeah. it's just a windmill of legs. Yeah. Woo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see faint footsteps leading from the gate to where you are. Are they deep, heavy dwarf footprints? They are, and they're heading away from you. I uh, rub my thumb along the lucky rock in my pocket and smile at the snow and think about uh, playing in it when I was younger and go inside to wake up anyone who's still sleeping. Okay. Bo, at one point you did wake up this morning half-heartedly as uh, some people aren't as stealthy in their exits as (laughs) as others. (laughs) Clang, 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 clang. <laughs> kind of open one eye and glance over and shh, door closes. I chuckle and just roll over and go back to sleep and kind of smile as I dig into my pillow. All right. Just just a Did you just identify on those, those like the ruby thingy at all? Yeah, yeah I didn't do nothing. You wake up and there is a letter. Wow. Fucking sacred Santa. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope it's a terrible drawing or something. Sorry. <laughs> Guys, I've never gotten gotten morning after. That's <laughs> 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 Great. It it's almost up. as good as the carrot glitter, you guys. The immediate regret. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have the full so, experience. Yeah, you're gonna have the so full experience. Oh my god. First off, four bows fall wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Bo, everything's crossed out. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Those letters were actually written by Ashley Birch for you guys. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh wow. I love. You can see. You can words. see it. She was trying to write. She was trying to write. Uh, your eyes are beautiful when you smile. I love. Uh, thanks. I'll cherish this forever. 